All right, test class, let's look at this discrete uh, random variable probability distribution. So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard, control C, and then come over here to, I got a Google Sheet open, paste it in there. All right, and then uh, the first thing it wants to know is, is this a probability distribution? So remember, we can't have any negatives in here. Everything has to be between 0 and 1. So that, so far that looks good. And then the other thing is that it has to sum to 1. So I'm going to go in here and um, click the little sum button right there. See, it sums to 1. So everything looks good. This is a probability distribution. All right, so I'm going to delete that. I don't need that. I'm just showing that it sums to 1. So yes, this is a probability distribution. All right, the second part wants to know what's the mean of this distribution. So the, what we need to be able to do that is to multiply x times the probability. So we're going to, in this cell, we're going to multiply this times this. It's going to suggest that I do it all the way down. That is correct. So I'm, I'm going to, to accept it. You don't have to accept it. But just notice it is multiplying. It's telling me that it's multiplying the things in column 1 and column 2 or column A and column B together all the way down. So that is what I needed to do. So I'm going to accept it. Okay, now once we multiply those together, we add these up. I'm just going to write it down here this time. Sum of all that stuff. It's suggesting I do that. So there's my sum. Okay, now I'm going to uh, see how many. One decimal place. So 0.396. So that's going to be 0. All right, now the last part wants to know what's the standard deviation. So to do the standard deviation, you can use either one of these formulas that I have here. They're both work. It's two different formulas. And uh, it's telling you, you know, how do I get the standard deviation? I do all these different things. So uh, I'll use the top formula here. So to do that, I'll need uh, to square the x's. That's these values over here in the first column. So I'm going to type equals this squared you click there and drag down i only go down to the five okay so that's the squared values of x i multiply those times p of x so x squared p of x the same thing we did with the third column i'm going to do it now with this all right p of x not x p of x so x squared times p of x and again i'm going to go up and just stop right there beside the 25 all right, and then I subtract from those the mean squared. So, I'm sorry, I, I add all those and then subtract the mean squared. Notice the bracket ends there. So I need to add all those up and then square the mean. That's, that's the mean right there. Square that and subtract. So I'm going to add these up. I'm going to blow this up. Use the little sum icon. All right, so that is what is uh, underneath the square root symbol between that sigma and the sum, these things. Now I have to subtract the mean squared. So right below it, I'm going to write equals this. That's the sum of the stuff in the uh, parent, you know, the, uh, the the brackets there. Minus the mean squared. So minus this squared. So that's that part. This is actually called the variance. And then the standard deviation is the square root of that. So SQRT is square root of the variance. There's my standard deviation. Okay, so that would be to one decimal place, uh, 0 0.6. Now, just as you can see it, we could also have used the other definition. So I have uh, copied and pasted that down here. So this one says subtract the mean from the x's. So let's do that x minus mean. Okay equals this the x's minus the mean that's that mean right there lock this in because we need um, we need to subtract the same mean from multiple values so click there drag it down to the five all right so there's the x minus the mean we need to square that i'm just labeling it that way that equals these things squared drag down beside the five all right, and then um, multiply those times the p of x. Click up here just to expand it. Equals x minus mean squared times x. And you know what? I need to take the equals out. This is just my label. I don't need to actually do the math here. So it equals these things. 
x minus mean squared times p of x. Click and drag down. All right, and look at the formula. That is the stuff in the brackets. Now it says to add those up. So now I'm going to right here write sum equals sum of all the stuff above it. All right, and notice that's our variance again. Let's put VAR this time, square root of that. So just like before, I get the sec exact same thing. Uh, same thing. It did have like an extra little column there. So that's why this one is, is, is a lot of times considered the, uh, the, the quicker way to do it, the least amount of computations, just because of the extra um, column, basically, to subtract the mean and then square it. Uh, this one's typically thought to be a little bit quicker. But uh, as long as you can get it consistently with one of those, right? It's the, the main thing is don't round anything. Just click on cells and, and add things together in cells, but never do any calculation and then round it yourself and t manually type it in.